Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel and another family grocery haul and meal plan. So if you want to see what we bought for the week ahead and what meals we'll be eating, then keep watching. So as I always say at the start of these videos, as per the CMA guidelines, I'm required to tell you that I have worked with Tesco in the past. However, this has all been paid for with my own money. And I'm just gonna get started. Sorry if I seem a bit flustered because I'm having a nightmare with work this morning. I'm having technical issues and I'm stressed. I also have a two-year-old and a puppy joining me today, um, but they're feeling quite chill at the moment. So fingers crossed we can get through it. So if you're new to my videos, I'll run through all of our groceries. Um, as I mentioned before, these are from Tesco. And then at the end of the video, I will run through our meal plans as well. So without any further ado, I'm gonna show you what I bought. Are you not just the cutest? You are, aren't you? Sorry, I got distracted. <laughs> so, um, sorry, this is Stan's drink. Can move that out of the way. We have broccoli, watermelon. Um, these are really expensive at Tesco. Realise that it's two pounds and ninety-nine pence for a watermelon. Don't get me wrong, it's really big. But at the same time, I feel like that's so much money. Is that not just me? But the kids are obsessed with it at the moment. It's great for lunch boxes and things like that. So we, we are buying them. Uh, we've got some green beans, some celery, candy floss grapes, because everybody loves them. Mushrooms, two packs of strawberries and some blueberries. I don't need any apples or bananas or satsumas because I had to pick some up though. Some of those up midweek just because the kids are like fruit bats and just eat everything. We have some spring onions, sprouts, um, carrots, onions, mouse piper potatoes, then herb-wise we've got parsley, coriander and mint. However, the parsley and coriander look a bit, I mean look at that. That's not the one is it? It's looking a bit moist so I'm gonna have to take those out and freshen them up a little bit I think. Um, Rocket and baby leaf salad. We've got some love beets. I've mentioned this brand before I think. I really really enjoy these. They're really lovely. Two packs of little gem lettuces. Then we've got some baking potatoes. I accidentally ordered too many tomatoes, but never fear because I'm going to turn one pack of them into a tomato pasta sauce, so that's fine. Um, so tomatoes on the vine and baby plum tomatoes is what I intended to buy, but for some reason I also bought some salad tomatoes. So actually instead of a salad, I would probably make those ones into the pasta sauce. We have some peppers, um, baby cucumbers, sweet mini peppers. Um, as usual, I've been loving these with cream cheese and um, some of the everything but the bagel seasoning. I spent a ridiculous amount of money on Amazon to get the real thing to try it and the real thing is better. Mine's a bit saltier. Um, so yeah, I'm hooked and I wish that they did it in the UK, but never mind. <laughs> we have a large garlic here and then some limes. Eggs, if you knew, as I said last time, we get our eggs and milk from our milkman. However, I always buy like extra as and when I think I need it because it's easier sometimes than upping our milkman order because we don't always need that many eggs if that makes any sense. Cocktail sausages, ham, two packs of pancetta. Um, these last for ages in the fridge anyway and I don't know if we'll get through all of it but I might go through like three pots of it and leave the other one for something else. Richmond sausages because Mark is legit obsessed with those. We have some steak mins, 5% fat. I'm gonna split this in between two meals. Bacon medallions and then also some chicken breast fillets. 0% fat, fat Greek yogurt, um, cottage cheese. And then we've got light filly. We have a just roll, pan au for the kids. Uh, puff pastry and filo pastry. And then we have we have a lot of cheese this week. But um, they're for various things, and again, like, this block of cheddar won't go all week, but we just run low, so I've got some more, if that makes sense. Um, mozzarella and cheese mix. This is my favourite to do, like, pizzas or pub pastry pinwheels with the kids, because they can grab a handful and do it with me, and it's less, like, leaky. And generally speaking, um, it just kind of tastes better for that kind of thing. I've um, got some garden potato cheese, white Weight Watchers wraps, King's Mill no crust over here, and then a toasty as well from Warby's, and then we have some sesame bagels and some brioche. Uh, you'll notice that a few of these are like a little bit healthier alternatives, just because, I'll be honest with you, I gained weight in the first lockdown, and we are now in the second lockdown, and I'm really conscious that I'm a comfort eater, so I'm just trying to make some better choices and eat loads of veg and not turn to the wrong things, because it's not healthy for me in the long run and it will just further like damage my self-esteem, if you will. Bit deep for a grocery haul, but 
we move. So over here are like store cupboard, freezer, and then a few Christmassy bits. So for the freezer, I've got some corn nuggets and some Linda McCartney sausages. Um, we have some chestnuts. We have smoky for heat this evening. Um, water chestnuts, black beans. This just sounded. I mean, can you see that? I don't know if you can because the camera won't focus, but it is the. Lee Kum Ki, which is a brand that I have mentioned that I love before, it's the Chu Chow Chili Oil. And in there, it's just loads of like crushed chilies in oil, and I think it's going to be epic. Um, and thought it'd be handy to have that in uh, for various things, but also a recipe that I'm doing. I saw this and picked this up. It's the Gran Luchito Mexican Chipotle Chili Mayo Dunk and Dollop. And uh, again, I thought that would be a nice one to try. We have some jalapenos, we have some tomato pasta two tins of normal beans two tins of the no added sugar ones i prefer to give those to the kids like when i can um these were a part of that um tesco you know the club card thing at the moment it changes every week like some products are in and then they switch them out but uh tropicana is amazing but i always try and find cheaper alternatives when i can but we got the smooth and the pressed apple and then i have balsamic drizzle and then finally in this corner we have some pedal bin liners so that is that and then over here we have a quality street because this was in the club card thing for three pound fifty and then these i picked up i don't know if they will make it to christmas in all honesty they might come out in december for like little snacks that are festive but we've got the penguin biscuits again and the mini gingerbread and then we have some twiglets because these are amazing are you marmite fans out there because they obviously they taste like marmite you'll have to let me know in the comments i love marmite and i love twiglets and then finally some matchmakers so these are going to go in my like, christmas cupboard i've got bits in there now from like Tesco, Morrison's, I picked up some bits from B&M, uh, Iceland as well. So I like to do my rounds of like supermarkets um, and pick up their like best bits that I like. However, that's a little bit more difficult at the moment because I don't want to go out when it's not safe due to the lockdown. So I might have to hold on that now until December, hopefully when we come out of it. But I'm going to pop all of this away and then I'll run through the meal plan with you at the end. Okay, so that is everything put away and now on to the meal plan. I have it on my phone in notes as always. So today is Friday. Normally, Bill would have jiu-jitsu and we feed the kids early, but obviously at the moment everything's cancelled. But we've decided to kind of keep it as a bit of a, for want of a better word, date night. <laughs> um, you know, like just where we eat something that we really want to eat that might be a little bit spicy, get takeaway, like have a bit of time just us two. Um, so that's what we're going to do tonight. But I'm going to make the kids a cheesy pasta bake with homemade tomato sauce which i've actually got in the oven now so i've chopped up those extra tomatoes that i have with an onion a pepper some celery loads of garlic bulbs just whole and then drizzled them with olive oil and salt and pepper and i've left that on like 160 degrees celsius um just to cook slowly for like an hour or so and then i'll blitz that up and then cook some pasta mix loads of cheese through maybe some like ham or something like that if they want it and then bake it in the oven and then they can save that with garlic bread and some salad and that would do them really well saturday we are going to do crispy chicken wraps for the kids i got these um hoisin breaded like chicken fillets from iceland the other day they look amazing so i'm going to put them with some leftover hoisin sauce that i've got and some mayo and like cucumber and lettuce in a wrap and that will be what the kids are having and then we're going to have fajita bowls so i'm going to do chicken peppers onion with like a spice mix uh, black beans avocado lettuce rice and tortillas just something a bit different sorry i had to pause them because merlin was trying to steal stan's sock off his foot uh, that's life with a puppy for you um, um, on Sunday, we are going to have Jamie Oliver's Filo Chicken Kiev with broccoli and pea mash. Um, this is on page 66 of the Seven Ways book. Sorry for the change in lighting because my camera is always like this. Um, but let me find it for you now. What page are we on here? So this is the book and then this is the recipe. It's on page 66 and 67 and it's phyllo chicken Kiev and he serves that with like a pea mash. So all you need is garlic, parsley, butter, chicken breast, phyllo pastry, potatoes, peas and purple sprout and broccoli and it looks something like that which I think is like it just looks amazing. So I'm going to have that for Sunday dinner instead for something like a little bit different to try. And we'll just pop that back up there. 
And then <laughs> on Monday, we're gonna have a chili beef and bean stir fry. This is gonna be like a version of the recipe that I found on the Tesco website. So I'll put it in the description box down below for you, but I'm gonna tweak it a little bit like I always do. and make some egg fried rice to go with that. Then Tuesday, I'm gonna do my sprout bacon and chestnut risotto just to be a bit festive. I've got a video on this, so I'll leave that link down below as well with the full recipe and how I make it. Then on Wednesday, we're gonna have spaghetti bolognese with salad. And then Thursday, we're gonna have something really quick and easy and just have corn nuggets, baked potatoes with like beans and salad or whatever topping you want on your baked potato. Uh, it's just something that everybody likes. So we do that one quite a lot. It's like a full back one. And that is essentially the meals for the week. Um, I've got like ideas like salads for me, ham sandwich um, with like loads of salad for my lunches, beans on toast, the cucumber pepper and cream cheese with everything but the bagel seasoning. Um, soup and then for the kids like pat lunches I'm gonna do like a hidden veg pasta with that leftover sauce for pat lunches pinwheels with spicy chicken and sweet corn and cheese and then cheese and crackers as well so there's loads of different ideas obviously like do sandwiches and all that jazz as well but that is everything for this week so thank you so much for watching I hope you're all safe and well and doing okay <sighs> hang on in there and um we're gonna get out of the other side of this soon but yeah have a lovely rest of your day evening whatever you're up to and i will hopefully see you all very soon bye <laughs>